Okay, so today is the day we are leaving Gran Canaria and heading across the Atlantic to Barbados. Yeah, we're going. We are going, and it's a warm, nice day. Not much wind, but we're expecting that anyway. Yeah. Um, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> our bets as to how long this takes. The winner gets Jackie's job, not ever. <laughs> the bets are going into the ground coriander jar to be safe for the rest of the voyage. And opened up at the end. Jar of Nutella awaits one of us. <laughs> Jackie's despair. It's, it's a miniature <laughs> We swiftly handed over our bets to the Thin Family Robinson adjudication panel. And for a hot minute, all was good. But then suddenly, the engine started making a funny sound. And we had a sneaky suspicion that we'd maybe got something caught around the propeller. We popped the GoPro in the water and unfortunately, it confirmed our suspicions one of us had to jump in and being the nurse I was excluded in case of emergency so Tony drew the short straw. So you're attached to that so we can pull you in and the fender is up for you to grab two if needed isn't it? Yeah. And we've got a line ready to pull you in with if required as well. Eyeball it, yeah? Don't get caught in any net or anything. Check it first. Nice, thank you. Alright, that was it. Well done. Come off and get warm. <clears throat> it felt a bit hairy, but Tony was back out the water and a rather large bit of black tarpaulin was no longer wrapped around our prop. So that you can see. But yeah, I do worry about you. Alright, if you were. Uh, turn the engine on. Yeah. Looks good, Paul? Yeah. Good. Okay. Happy? Do you rate that out of 10? Well, it could have been worse, it could have been dark. Yeah, it almost is. So we'll put the main up now, as might as well, we're just doing this and get going. God, I've only done like five more miles. It's a beautiful sunset. It's pretty, isn't it? It is. All the drama's going on. We've got a beautiful sunset brewing over the island. And we finally found some wind, so it's time to set the sails and hoist the main. At least, that was our plan. Pretty much into wind now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Bobby, get in your jump. 
It was exactly this moment where we all realised we had our second problem. Oh, hang on, what's going on up there? Oh, we're going to have to drop it, Bryony. That's all right. The light. So as you just heard, a halyard was caught around the deck light. It was at this point I realised I needed to head up the mast compared to an hour ago when I was just under the boat. This is the face of disbelief. When I thought things couldn't get any worse. A blocked Chabasco toilet. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to catch him in the mirror. Very unhappy Tony. Bad things come in threes, right? That's what they say. Just need to wait in there well. You can see what's the end of this. Probably a lot of poo. <laughs> oh my god, do I want to be in here or not? Probably not. the hour times three mm. in about three hours about three hours jumped in the sea went up the mast unblocked our toilet although whose fault was the toilet mm. that was my fault <laughs> shove bloody kitchen roll down our Jabasco toilet yeah should have known better well I did I just not think at the time. <laughs> day one. We left yesterday. So maybe this is day two, actually. <laughs> um, we're all quite tired. Obviously, our departure had about three things go wrong in as many hours which is when Tony and I were going to try to be sleeping and then we were on from midnight until 6am anyway so we're a little tired but that's okay um, we saw some dolphins go by which is lovely they didn't hang around long so we weren't going fast enough to be of particular interest Tony's kipping I don't think everyone else is kipping actually but it's nice um, it's calm a gentle introduction minus yesterday's dramas to the passage we are going pretty much just dead south at the moment trying to get past the belt of just no wind <laughs> and find the trade winds right now that's about it just chilling time to go wing on wing yeah it's uh, one of the already yeah.
Good evening. Uh, it's the second night of our passage to Barbados. It's been pretty steady, fairly slow, average three to four knots, I think it was. Um, not much swell, so an easy day really. The wind has picked up now, uh, it's gusting around 18 um, and it's blowing 14-ish. So we're going just over five knots at the moment, which isn't too bad. So currently in some sort of shipping lane, but there's not that many ships around really. That was about it for the moment. Nothing too much to report. Apart from Jack and Paul saw a few walkers swimming in the distance earlier this morning. Brian saw a dolphin. And that is about it. The sun is currently rising on day three. Nearly done 200 miles. A little bit rolly at the moment, but nothing too bad. It's a bit swell, about a metre or so, I think. Good morning, Bryony. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Day three. Three. We need to change tack in a bit because we're going too far west. I don't want to do that yet. If you're going south to find a better wind, so I'm in it. Yep. Just put the fishing line out. Back to a trusty winch and it's Coke bottle. What would you like, Tony? Fish. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Not a smelly one, though. Not a smelly one. I want a mahi, but I want a mahi, and not a dolphin. No dolphin. <laughs> That's a quotation. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the wind's song and the white sails shaking and a grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn breaking By the time the last friendly dolphin departed from our wake, our first ever cake baked underway was done. We were sailing across the Atlantic, the second largest ocean on earth. And whilst we had no idea of the highs and lows we were yet to face, in this moment, we were feeling pretty damn good. <laughs> 